I remember when I was first trying to learn Blender UV mapping, and I remember I had to piece together a lot of inf information from a lot of different places, and I wished there was someone who would have just said, just do these few things and you can get a map out of Blender. Well, I never could find it, so I'm going to try and do it here. So, first, create and assign materials. When you create the first material in Blender, it um, selects everything. So, what I do is I just create a, a base material and just try not to fight it at all. Because if you try and fight it and make that first material um, something other than all, than, than all the faces, you're going to have a terrible time. So once I create the base, then I go and I create a new material index. Um, I then give it a name, and I usually put um, MAT at the end of... Um, a material name just so I can tell that's what I'm l looking at uh, quickly. Sometimes it, it, it isn't clear. Um, the next thing I do is select the faces that are going to be in that material index. So in this case on my little payphone here I'm going to select um, the parts that are going to need text uh, that are going to be labels. So right here um, on this phone are going to be, you know, text about how much it is for long distance calling and things like that. And then also behind the little rotary dial thing too is going to um, be selected. But what I've done here is I've just selected that one label, made sure I'm on my proper material index, and then I click on Assign. And then I click on Deselect, and then Select, just to make sure that I, I got the uh, faces that I wanted to when I clicked Assign. Now I'm going to go back and do that label part underneath the little rotary dial. So I put my cursor over the rotary dial, hit L, and push H to hide that. And then I'm just going to select this, and you can hit B two times to get a little um, gadget that selects things for you. It's hard to explain. <laughs> but I'll uh, click on, on Assign, Deselect, and then Select, and now you can see the faces that are part of that material index um, have been selected. So those are the ones I, I wanted. Next, Create UV Texture Layer. Now over here uh, in the Links and Pipeline, uh, you've got a little button, New UV Texture, and this creates a new UV Texture Layer. And so, what uh, um, I usually put UV behind the name of my UV texture layer just so I can see what it is. Um, and once that is done, I then create a, a texture layer. That is here in the materials. Um, portion. I click on um, Add Layer. And this time I'm going to, the end of the name is going to be COL for color. Because this particular UV, UV map is going to be a, a color, color map. Notice the tabs here for Map Input and Map 2. I clicked on the UV button under the map input. Um, then I have to put the name of the UV texture layer in this field and notice how it turned red. Something isn't wrong. So I go and save the file and that usually does it. 
but it doesn't here. Okay, so what's the problem? Um, well, the names, uh, this name wasn't quite correct, but that really shouldn't be the problem. Um, I've got, in the map 2, I've got the color button selected, which is what I want it to be, a color map. I saved it again. That still didn't fix it. If I go back here to the UV texture layer, I see I spelled the word label wrong. Uh, I save it once again, and that field turns to gray. So that's just a little hint there. That name has to be the exact same as the UV color as a UV texture layer. So now that we've created the texture layer, we now create a new image file. And down here in the UV image editor, there's a, a menu called image. I then click on new, and I'm going to create a new uh, image file, a targa file. It's uh, the I'm going to put col at the end of this file just so I know that it pertains to the color map. I click on OK and it's it's been made. But look down here under the on the image menu. There's a little there's a little um, um, asterisk, and that means that yes, I've created the image file in memory, but I haven't yet saved it to the hard drive, and that's important. You've got to save it to the hard drive. So now that it's been saved to the hard drive, the little asterisk is gone, and I can assign the image to the texture layer. So under texture type, I click here. I select image. And now I click load, go hunt for my image file that I just created, the targa file load the that and now you see that it's here loaded in that texture layer and I usually click premole 2. Now that that's done the final and sixth st step is to unwrap the mesh. So I put my cursor over the 3D view push U click unwrap and there we have a UV map. Now, just like before, I can hover my cursor over one of these islands and, and push uh, the L button, and it will highlight the, the, whole, the whole island, and I can push G and then move it around. But that is the six easy st steps I wish someone would have told me long ago. <laughs> <laughs> on how to get a UV map out of Blender. So, if we were going to recap this entire thing, you would create and assign your materials. You would create a UV texture layer, create a, a texture layer, create a new image file, assign the image file to the texture layer, and then finally, unwrap the mesh. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope that saves someone a lot of work. Thanks.